Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and we're playing this really cool game called Trailmakers. Uh, it's it's like a it's a vehicle building game and puzzle solving. So the puzzle is you have to get these power cores. A lot of times they're located in difficult places to get. So you solve the puzzle, and what I mean by that is you get the core, take it back to a drone, and then solving the puzzle is the reward because then you get the core, whatever part that it gives you or whatever part that it has, you get as a building block. And so we'll look at that right here. I figured this thing out. So pistons, this is also a really cool part of this game. So the pistons I couldn't figure out in the last one, they're a little bit of messing around. You click to configure, so you just change the button. So now G will push the pistons down, like on the keyboard, the G key, and then the H key will retract them. However, I don't think that this current setup is gonna work. This box needs to be just a little bit bigger in order to get that core. And so what I'm gonna do, is retract these pistons, put the box, this like, this, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, this box over the power core, and then um, extend the piston so we can kind of trap that core and pull it back. So that's, that's my plan. And so we have to make this box bigger. So let's do that. If we move this, you know what, hang on. Uh... Oh, so it's up, right? So another cool thing I like is you, you can, you can move it one space whoop, at a time. Let's go like this. Let's retract. Builder contains unconnected parts. Oh, cancel. What? What's unconnected? Oh, the pistons. Um, can we retract them from here? No. Oh, there, there it goes. Okay. So I'm going to try, yeah, selecting multiple components. Not that one. We don't want that one. And yeah, so there's half the box. And so now we can use, I'm using S to bring it down. And then I switch the camera over. Now I press A to put it where we want it. And now this one, I hold down Alt to rotate. And now I'm going to use the keys on the keyboard. Oh, whoops. Like this. So now that box, I, I think is going to be big enough. And now we'll bring some more of these guys out here. And we want to rotate it again. And then bring it down one space. And I guess this one we can just center-ish. Kind of like that. I think that looks good. But I also think that that's really heavy. And it's it's pretty pretty far out from the fulcrum of the vehicle. Oh, whoops. No, I don't. Unselect. There we go. Now I just want to move the camera with the WASD keys. And so this vehicle already has some blocks right here to add some weight. But let's add more. Just put another one there, and then we're going to put like that, and rotate it. Really easy building. Pretty intuitive, and the, the keyboard shortcuts are good. I mentioned in the last video that I made, I played some other games like this, and it's just... They they deterred me because the building system was too complicated. And it just, it just wasn't fun to use. It's not like, oh, it's too hard, I don't, I don't want to do it. No, it's just like, well, I have to spend three hours making a vehicle, it's not fun. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let's get the camera. Let's retract these. Pressing G to bring up the pistons. And we'll cut. This is going to be tough. Because we might slide off the edge here. Yeah, we're already sliding off. We're going to come back and get a better approach. Nice and easy. Nice and teasy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> right. What do you think? Right there? Oh, H. Oh, no. Not even close. That's going to... Mm. Oh, we're sliding. That's the problem. And H, and then we're going to back up. Get it. No! Okay, it'll reset. If it falls in the water, it just resets like that. Okay. Um, What's the problem? The problem is that we're not able... Once we get out there, we don't really have control. Because we just slide off. Just a little bit more, and yeah, see where... Maybe it'll just move on to the thing. <laughs> the sliding sideways. Okay, and maybe gotcha. Maybe. Come on. Try it. Hmm. I was hoping that for the same reason we're sliding. Okay, that, that thing is too big. Hmm. This is our last attempt. If we don't get, get it this time, we're just going to move on. There are plenty of other cores. 
You know what? What I think the pro... Oh, shoot. So what happens? This is a good good question. What I think the problem is is that there's too much space. Like this and this way. And then alt to rotate. And then move it over again. And then exit the building menu. Yeah, see, so... Hang on. We'll get it. Well, maybe. Again, if we don't, then that's it. I thought it might put us back... Oh, oh, nope, don't fall. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, that's it for for that core. We're going to try something else here. We're going to use our blueprint. Um, just a regular old this guy. Drag this one out and press B, and then we're back. We're in the, the new vehicle. That's I, I really like the simplicity and the ease of use of the building here. So we're in a dark cave. I found this uh, in between making videos. This little cave is kind of cool. There's a drone for capturing these energy cores. I don't see one. Oh, our radar. In the bottom left, if there is one, there we go. Within 200 meters, it'll come up on that radar. So there's some high ground around us that we can't see on top of. We're going to go up there. How about here? I may have already gotten the one that was up here, though. I like our, our guy has like a little scarf. Oh, there it is. See it over there? Across the way? We'll go to that other hill. Uh, that's one thing I don't like, is the handling of vehicles in this game is... It leaves something to be desired for me. We're losing pieces. Get rid of the other one. Oh, nope. This is the basic car that the game starts you with, but I added those two little forks on the front to better corral the, the power cores or the, the pieces actually that thing was a power core that would allow us to add another power unit to the vehicle like another source of locomotion or an additional one like um you know put another engine on it there it is we're gonna have to re i just press r oh i've got to slow down press r and then it just it reconstructs the vehicle for us pretty cool and we're just gonna Oh, that was coins. That, uh, bye. We died. <laughs> Love it, though. That there's no consequence. Who cares? You just have fun and do what you want. Let's go look for another one. Oh, you can see the sun is... We're on the dark side. Oh, you know what? No, I know what to do. We'll press tab and look at our handy-dandy map. Oh, that's up in the air. Wait, 1,000? Where? Oh, I see. That's what the arrows are for, huh? That's the one that we were trying to get. Here's another one. It's up in the air. Oh, these are way up high. Let's go for that one over there. Is that... We were just up on that thing, though. Maybe it's, um, there's like a tunnel or something underneath... Underneath that, the other, the plateau or whatever on the other side. So there's a power core down there, that yellow, or a, a piece, whatever it is. It's a thing to get over there. But it's on the other side of the river. Actually, we have the boat now. We'll go this way. I'm looking for, like, like a cave entrance or something. We're gonna sweep around to the right. See, if we add another power core, then we could add another power source, like another engine block. Or another engine piece, I guess, more concisely. There it is. And we could go faster. What's in here? Nice. This is more block... Oh, it's a one by 2 Oh, really? That's kind of disappointing. Okay. Later on, I'm sure, like, as, as we get more creative, get more pieces, and are able to build more things, a one by 2 block will be desirable. But for now, it's like... I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a, disappointing. I was hoping for, like, I don't know, just something cooler, but it's all right. We'll get them all. Eventually. Adding the forks on the front of this thing was the best thing I ever did in this game. There it is. A one by two block has been added to your inventory. This block is a crucial part of your spaceship. 
Okay, there's that's the story. Honestly, like in a game like this, it, it doesn't seem like it's really story driven. You just go around getting all the blocks. Okay, let's let's see what kind of capability we have. I'm gonna press B, go to the build menu, go to blueprints, and get the floaty one. Pontoon car thing, yep. Delete the one that we had, exit the building menu by pressing B again. And let's get out of here. I bet you it's just gonna blow up as soon as it hits the water. Nope. Press R and F and then we're back inside. Love it. Just so simple. You can do stupid fun things and um, and not be penalized for it. So the radar came up. 200. There's one thing within 200 meters. I'm guessing it's the one right in front of us. I'm not sure how we're going to get it back up, though. Back up on that side. And I don't see any blue lights that are those little drones over there. There's one that needs to be repaired. Maybe we'll go check that out. Let's do that, because I don't see a way that we're going to be able to get this thing... Hmm. Cause they can't touch water, so we're going to need, like, a, like pistons or, you know, like a grabber. We're going to need something to grab the thing and put it, like, in the bed of a truck or something like that to, in order to carry it on to land. All right, we're coming through the other side of that gorge behind us. And there's a drone. Where did it go? There it is. The broken one. See the red light? Look at that. Cool handling in the water. I like that. You can swing the back end around. Let's get something a little bit faster. Actually, wait. That's the one that... Okay. Let's make a new one. Let's see what that looks like. So, I just pressed delete. Uh, delete? No? Okay. Oh, because I'm not in building, I guess? Delete? No. How do I delete everything? Alright, I ended up just... building a, like a, a, a blueprint with less pieces, and then selecting each block and hitting delete instead of deleting, you know, 30 blocks, it was like 10, or something like that. So, let's go here. One by two, two by four. We're going to just build something from scratch and see if we can make it faster. And it doesn't really matter, as, as far as I can tell, it doesn't matter where you put it in this arrow. Like, that's just uh, telling you which way is front. So we have that, and then, let's see, got a seat. We only have the one seat. What else here? It, I, I do want it to, I want it to be pretty simple. But I want it to be wider than that. So let's go like this. And we'll put this one here, and then we'll rotate it. And, oh, whoops. Oh, that's why. There we go. Snap it in there, just a little bit wider. And maybe just like... Like that. I'm just using the keyboard now. And then we'll rotate it. I really enjoy the building system in this game. Super easy. And then we're going to do a mechanical. I kind of like the handling. Oh. Yeah. I kind of like the handling on uh, the boat. So hopefully it'll... Oh, I see. Wait, what? What's the... Oh, because it's... Uh, okay. It's sideways. There we go. Okay, cool. Now it's centered. And then we will... Build some more frames. I wonder... Hmm. Put this here, and then we're going to rotate it this way. We're adding a lot of weight, though, and I, I think this might be a mis Whoops. This might be a mistake. To add these things like this. We'll see, though. That, and then move it down one, and then same... Uh, can, you, can you see what I'm doing? Um, uh, let's see, this one. Like that. And then we'll add some wheel hinges. Well, actually, no, just wheels, because we already have one hinge. Oh, wait. Whoops, wrong thing. Wheels. We only have the one. Yep, perfect. And I, I'm curious to see... Yeah, there we go. Uh, but that needs to be... Actually? No, that's good. Okay, that takes up three spots. So that's that's the best we could do there. Okay. The back's wider than the front. I'm, I'm not sure how this will do, but let's see. Oh, no engine. <laughs> okay. Propulsion... One. What? What do you mean, one? How many can we add? 
Okay, we can add three. Hopefully this is going to be pretty fast. Oh, the hinge is backwards. <laughs> this... Oh, that's weird. That's really disorienting. This needs to be... Rotated like that. And that's it. There we go. It's veering right. Th did I miss something? Like off-center to the wheels? No? Alright. Now I forgot what we were doing. We're going up there to get that drone? This thing turns on a dime. And it's still... It's veering left. Why? Oh, that's gonna kill me. Why is it veering left? My only thought is that it, it would... Like, some... It's caused by um, something that's asymmetrical. This needs to be fixed, though. That wasn't the thing to do. So we're gonna... Delete this. And we're just going to... Let's see. Make it smaller. With no hinge. No, we'll have uh, wheel hinges. Move you... Move the cockpit back. This hinge needs to go. And we're just going to do, like, super basic. Oh, we need a hinge. Small steering hinge. Looks good, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Um... Yeah, like that. Line up the arrows with the arrow thing. The giant arrow. You need to move this down one, like that. Yeah, perfect. And then on this side, this is like not a pretty vehicle, but that's all right. And on this side, just hook it up there. And then the back ones will be, I guess they'll be narrow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We need to match it up with, cool, there we go. Match up the direction of rotation with the big giant green arrow. Let's try that. Oh, nope, not like that. I forgot to add the engine. Or engine, more engines. So that, yeah, that's good, like that. So now we have three. That's... We're able to put three on there because we have three power cores. Oh, that's a lot better. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh, that's all? That's all it takes? Are you kidding? That's nice. That is awesome. Look at this thing. <laughs> it definitely turns well. Okay, but now we need to solve the puzzle, so we need a different tool, right? By tool, I mean uh, vehicle. And this one only has three. Or it only has two two power cores, two block or two uh, engine blocks on it. Power blocks, I don't know whatever you want to call it. So we'll put that one there. Oh, but it's not. It's not connected. We have to rotate it, and then we'll put it down one. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's good. And we're going to try to come up from... Oh, it's a power core. We can add another engine. Come up like this and just kind of like corral it in there. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Nice. Saving progress. Oh. You, did, you didn't do the thing. Okay. Oh, why didn't it go... Why didn't it collect it? Maybe it just I didn't have it in the light... Oh, no! For long enough. I think the extra power core will help a lot with the vehicle that we made with... There we go. With the piston. The piston's on it because that, that front end was this super heavy. This power core is required for your spaceship. Nice. And we're playing the campaign, so there's the spaceship thing. I don't think that that would be there like in, in the other game modes. I don't know yet. I'm just having fun playing it in campaign, but that's it for this one. This game is called Trailmakers in the top left. Trailmakers. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.